is there a certain point where it makes sense for an individual to become a member, right? Do you have people who own three units or is it, well, you got to get up to a certain level or a certain quantity before membership might make sense. Like talk through some of that because most of our listeners are probably not members nor know too much about what it actually entails. Sure. It's a great question. Uh, even if you have one unit, you can be a member of CAA. Um, and if you have between one and 150 units, uh, you pay the same dues uh, to be a member. Um, and from there, if you, you know, own over 150 units, it, it changes a little bit. I think CAA membership, no matter how many units you own, provides a major value um, to anyone out there who is in uh, real estate or property management or is a housing provider, small or medium or large. 